Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another comic book reading. And today we're gonna read uh, a pretty key book actually. We're gonna read Superman's Girlfriend Lois Lane number 70 from 1966. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it out of Mylar so it doesn't have the glare on it and take a look at the comic. Uh, from 1966 and it's the first Silver Age appearance of Catwoman okay and I bought this book uh, we I believe we did a comic book haul on it like I probably bought this book around six years ago or so and we've been doing comic book hauls for a long time uh, for a while now and uh, I believe the lot I bought it on was the first second and third appearance of Catwoman uh, Silver Age appearance of Catwoman so um, it was a great buy I forget how much I bought it for uh, but it was less than a hundred uh, and this thing this comic alone right now would go for more than a hundred uh, but let's crack it open I forget what grade it is and uh, that I bought it in um, it's in pretty good shape if I recall correctly it would have been mid-grade but uh, I should have written down the info on the back of this, but I didn't. Okay, mid to lower grade. And most of the story in this is written by, well, actually all the sto stories in this are written by Leo Dorfman. And Leo Dorfman did a lot of work with Superman and uh, Jimmy Olsen and obviously Lois Lane. So he was really active with the Superman books okay and the artwork for this is done by Kurt Schoffenberger and the cover this cover is done by um, Kurt Schoffenberger and there's some artwork with uh, Carmen Infantino Bob Colson Henry Bott Linoff and uh, Irv uh, Novick in this as well they're like one pagers or half a pagers and stuff but this is in pretty good shape, right? The sun's coming out, so the camera's like can't, you know, having a hard time focusing on the overcast areas or the sun coming out areas. Let's see. So right now is a great goes for this. I'd probably give this at least, well, we'll flip it, but at least a five or so. maybe four and a half right maybe five and a half anywhere between four and a half to five and a half for this there's no chunks missing right? special guest villain the penguin look at that super pussycat formerly superman habitat kryptonite cage haha <laughs> so this is supposed to be superman I believe what the story is is uh, uh, Catwoman Catwoman turns Superman into a cat so pretty good condition let's check out the back so there's no chunks missing in this build these great new four Aurora hobby kits four Aurora hobby kits Four great new Aurora hobby kits. Build these. What are these? Captain Kid. Look at this. I've never seen this before. Captain Kid. The Frog. Forgotten prisoner of Castle Mare. That's that guy. The Green Beret. Cool. Aurora Plastic Corpse. Corp, West Hampstead, New York. Models can be painted as shown. Let's check this out. Models can be painted as shown. Kits do not include paint or cement. Wow. Yeah, models. Yeah, it looks like it. For 98 cents. 98 cents each. Wherever toy hobby products are sold. Cool. I would rather buy a whole bunch of comic books from that period. 
they were very cool really i never i don't think we've ever seen one of the ads for them i haven't anyway not that i recall what does this say it's catastrophe it's a catastrophe for superman when his bewitched when he's bewitched by batman's feline foe in the catwoman's black magic turning superman into a cat was my most perfect crime lois and now i'll change you into a mouse ha <laughs> ha nice cover nice cover let's crack this open yeah definitely i would grade this at, at around 5.5 5.5 or 6 to tell you the truth the inside is beautiful the cover doesn't have any chunks missing right it's uh staples are attached very nicely let's see the center beautiful artwork and the staples in the center fold are attached very nicely as well right beautiful artwork wow let's read through this gang so there's three main stories in this and a bunch of little guys uh, just one pagers and stuff it does have this writing on it b and c3 i don't know what that means and here's have you ever seen superman as a cat you have now right <coughs> What's this ad? Boys 8 through 13. Enter the sixth annual Ford Dealers National Football League. Punt, pass, and kick competition. Cool. Ford motor cars, eh? Football kicker competition. Yeah, interesting. Haven't seen this before either. Get in on the fun now. Register September 1st to October 7th. Ford Division. Cool. Copyright National Periodical Publication 1966. Free gifts for registering. Your mom, dad, or legal guardian must be along when registering. Your Ford deal will give you free a handsome PP and K pin. I don't know what a PPK and pin is. Uh, punt, pass, and kick competition. That's what it is. Uh, a booklet of PP and K competition tips. Cool. Oh, yeah, look at that. Norman Rockwell. What the hell? Norman Rockwell. interesting warm up that kicking toe limber up that passing arm is pp and k competition time if you enter last if you entered last year you know what fun it is if you missed out join your friends and sign up at your ford dealers from september 1st to october 7th it's free and you'll have time you'll have the time of your life wow so you go to a ford dealership and sign up that's a great marketing ploy, right? Ask mom and dad to take you to the nearest Ford dealer, showing a PP and K poster in his window. That's where you register for the sixth annual Ford NFL punt, pass and kick a competition. Best of all, it doesn't cost a penny to enter. Win wonderful awards. Top three winners in each age bracket will get um, attractive medal of achievement awards featuring the classic norman rockwell p p and k design first place medal is blue second place is red third place is white win wonderful trips local champions uh, with top scores for their age groups in each ford zone will qualify for distinct competition distinct uh this district competition district uh, uh, champions then compete at area events this includes a trip to an nfl game 
NFL game with that area champions go with that to either Baltimore Maryland or Dallas Texas um, Texas to compete in division events of NFL games division champions go with both parents on a tour of champions to Washington DC and Miami Florida it's easy to do you will have a blast local comp competitions will be held in your neighborhood you will compete in punting passing and place kicking distance and accuracy and against boys your own age huh cool that's interesting way to build community right and major major corporation is using sort of advertising to do it right let's read the fine print and get into the stories gang let's read the fine print for this let's read the top one what does that say printed in the united states this periodical will, will may not be sold except by authorized dealers and is sold subject to the conditions that it shall not be sold or distributed with any part of its cover or markings removed nor in a mutilated condition nor affixed to nor as part of any advertising literally literally or periodical matter whatsoever superman's girlfriend lois lane number 17 november 1966 published monthly with the exception of march june and december by national periodical publications incorporated second and dickey streets uh sprata illinois 62286 editorial executive offices and subscriptions 575 lexington avenue new york new york 10022 mort wise weisinger editor uh, da -da -da. Uh, second class postage paid at sparta illinois under the act of march 3rd 1879 subscription in the u.s for 12 32 page issues dollar 75 including postage foreign 350 in american funds oh this guy canada nice canada two dollars in american funds for advertising rate rates address richard a felden and company 205 east 42nd street new york new york 10017 copyright national periodical publications incorporated 1966 all rights reserved under international and pan-american copyright conventions this the stories characters and incidents mentioned in this magazine are entirely fic fictional no actual person living or dead are intended or should be inferred cool and by the way this part where they have this publication can't be sold without its cover uh, let's zoom in let's see if it focuses uh, without its cover where's the cover without its cover is because um, when the newsstands weren't able to sell all the copies that they had or if anything was damaged they would instead of mailing back the whole publication that's that's the way the publishers made sure that the newsstands weren't scamming the publishers what they would do is tear the cover off and send the cover and it costs less to send multiple covers and then they would get credit for the number of covers they sent right so for the next bash they got they didn't have to pay the full amount right so there's a lot of comic books that you can buy well i don't know if a lot is the right word but there's some comic books you can buy that don't have the cover attached to them and that's because a lot of them that's what was happening the retailers newsstands were tearing off the covers sending them back to the publishers and uh getting credit for the books that they weren't able to uh to sell okay so let's start this off this is our first story what's this one called the catwoman's black magic right so superman's girlfriend lois lane let's read the sort of preamble to the story holy cats 
who's this female fiend who's sicking her big cat buddies on poor invulnerable Clark Kent is it the Catwoman Julie New Newmar from the Batman TV show Lee uh, Merriweather what Merriweather from the Batwoman movie or Batman movie no it's our own Lois so why is a nice girl like her impersonating the queen of crime I find to find out what's new pussycat and why read this tale of feline felony and the princess of plunder as the princess of plunder works a sinister spell on Superman himself with the cat woman's black magic and there's Clark Kent dealing with a lion tiger and a panther I would assume panthers drawn pretty big growl Arr. let's see what Catwoman was saying or Lois Lane rest rip him to pieces my pets Clark Kent is a friend of Superman and any friend of Superman is an enemy of mine Catwoman says great kryptonite batman a superman is thinking these enraged cats are ripping my clark kent clothes to shreds and with lois hypnotized into thinking she's catwoman there's no telling what she'll do when she finds out that i'm superman ah. and here's the artist's signature right schoffenberger schoffenberger nice splash page to start the story off I love the uh, the big cats the way they're drawn beautifully done right very nice now that I have two kitty cats I appreciate this a lot more <laughs> these kitty cats that's cool look at that what's this what's this one day one day high over startled metropolis that's a huge bird look is it a plane it's too big to be Superman good grief it looks like a rock the giant bird of Arabian legend it can't be for real the people are saying rock i don't know if that's for real is there a big bird of arabian legend ah look at that it's dropping flyers at the daily planet office as lois lane and clark can watch clark is dropping thousands of leaflets it's an aircraft how does it work if only i had superman's x-ray vision since i'm really superman clark says that's no problem for me so it looks through it look at that it's an ingenious adaptation of the helicopter principle the frame of the craft is covered with artificial feathers to make it look like a huge bird let's see what what those leaves leaflets say do we see the propellers of the bird oh maybe the cloud is supposed to be the propellers of the bird or the helicopter moments later Harvey Hawks was the flyer say let's read the flyer first announcing the grand opening of the Metropolis Bird Sanctuary August 25th at Phoenix Castle sponsored by Harvey Hawks oh there's Jimmy Olsen in the background 
Harvey Hawks. Lois Lane. Harvey Hawks. He's the millionaire bird uh, fancier who owns some of the rarest feathered creatures on earth. The collection must be worth a fortune, she says. Just then, Great Caesar's ghost. Listen to that flash on the news ticker. The penguin has escaped from prison. The warden is about to give the details on a national TV hookup. Uh, someone's reading the teleprompter. What is that thing called? I forget what it's called. Ting, 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 ting. News coming through, flashing news. The penguin, Lois Lerner says, he's one of Batman's cleverest enemies. Haha, <laughs> look at the penguin's face. Let's take a look at the panels. Soon on a special newscast. Yes, the penguin, our most infamous jailbird, escaped by the use of a fiendishly clever trick which he pulled at a party for the prison guards' children. What's this? Hum. He's got a little hummingbird in his hand, or a version of it. Foolishly, we permitted our puggy prisoner to entertain the tots with an electronic hummingbird he invented. Watch the birdie kitties. The nectar in those flowers has him humming with delight. Penguin, shut that thing off before it breaks everyone's eardrums. Sorry, Warden, I can't hear a thing you're saying. Ah, people are running away, the kids. Shouldn't expose uh, little ones to the penguin. Hum, so the humming is just making people uh, go crazy. The humming grew louder and louder, but it didn't seem to affect the penguin. That sound is vibrating the prison bars like a tuning fork how can the penguin stand it maybe he's gone stir crazy the guards say but it was all part of the foul felon's cunning plan the sound of the hummingbird shattered the prison walls just like the vibration of a violin string shatters a glass as they say on Broadway, bye bye birdie, and thanks, I'll remove my earplugs as soon as I'm out of range. Crumble, rumble, crash. And he escapes. As the warden finishes his story, this is page one stuff. So long, Lois. I'm heading for the prison to interview the witnesses and get some pictures. Uh -huh. Clark's on the move. He's grabbing his camera as well. Presently in a nearby alley, this emergency calls for Superman to take a hand. I'll contact Batman at once, Superman says or thinks. Meanwhile, Lois's willy brain goes into high gear. Hmm, she thinks. The penguin always uses bird themes for his crimes. He's bound to be attracted to the new bird sanctuary, and that gives me an idea. That afternoon, Lois visited Phoenix Castle. The Phoenix is a famous bird of Greek legend. I guess that's why Harvey Hawks housed his rare bird collection here. The exhibit won't open till next week, but perhaps they'll let me in, she thinks. Oh, look at her sneaking through. 
the watchman is asleep hmm. while he was napping the penguin could have slipped past him i'll go inside and check oh look at all these poor birds in cages soon within fantastic this exhibition hall contains the rarest and most valuable feathered creatures in the world that millionaire hawk must have spent a mint gathering them look at all these poor birds collecting comic books is better the bower bird of the south pacific it collects glittering objects and stones the way some people collect jewels look at that would make a great thief penguins in a refrigerated case to duplicate their normal environment I enjoy watching them but they remind me of their namesake the penguin that fine feather felon may be here right now she thinks suddenly gasp the shadows of an umbrella and the penguin's trademark is his trick umbrella I was right he must be over there then i'm being dive bomb bombed now i'm sure the penguin is nearby who else would train a bird to do a stunt like this gas i'm blacking out Puff. so that egg must have contained the gas right, right there that's being dropped as Lois comes to long afterward what happened what am I doing in this glass cage and where are all the birds they're gone vanished into thin air am I going out of my mind jaguars panthers oak oak lots the birds have been replaced with every species of savage cat in the world what's going on here Rawr, snarl at that moment well i'll be someone left left some food for me just as if i were a prisoner in a cell i am hungry so i might as well eat so there's the food that's a little opening outside the cage right the glass cage and the food's left outside but in the next frightening instance Oh wow, look at the cat paw. Yay! Yeah, a tiger. Let's see how well it's drawn. Nicely drawn. Another second, and it would have been his blue plated special thank heavens this cage is made of unbreakable glass but where did all this these uh, ferocious feline come from here's a metal hat for toys 
Oh, you can make toys. It's like a... What do you call that? Toy making uh, kit. Cool. Creepy crawlers. Or fighting men. Or crippled people. Crippled people. That's not PC. Mattel. Continued on second page following. Let's check this out. A good question, Lois. And the answer is, the Catwoman. She's one of Batman's arch foes. She always uses cats as the inspiration for her crimes. Hello, Miss Lane. Raja and I were uh, playing a little cat and mouse game with you. But I was expecting the penguin. He sent one of his birds to attack me. That was a cat bird, my dear. The only bird I could tolerate. Its egg bomb caused your little cat now. Ah, oh, that's a cat bird. Is there such a thing? Meow. So the bird goes meow. Stop pussyfooting. I saw the shadow on a, of an umbrella on the wall and know that's a sure sign of the penguin. You must have seen the shadow of my cat claws. <laughs> Just then. Okay, we put the last of the birds to sleep with the dream fog. We're loading them into the trucks now, right now. What next, Catwoman? Take that bird outside with the others while I set out the cat trap I've been uh, planning. So all the birds are asleep. They gassed them. After Lois has been released from her cage, my plans include you, Lois, Lo Miss Lois. Put on this costume. Do as I say, or I'll have Raja here convince you. <sighs> Look at the tiger. Give me the outfit. He's already con uh, convicted me. Oh. Lois is scared. Presently. It's another Catwoman costume. I'm a carbon copy of you. What's the pitch? Perplexed, my dear? Step through this door and you'll find the answer. She says. Then in the darkened room, here, look into my cat's eye ring and you'll learn what this is all about. That jewel, it's hypnotic. It's hypnotic force taking control of my brain, Lois says. Or thanks. As Lois is gripped by a weird transformation, yes, I've used the cata, cata, the cata, <laughs> catalyp, catalyptic hypno, hypnosis. Forget your past as Lois Lane. From now on, you're the cat woman. Meow. I understand, Lois Lane says. As the Countess of Crime, you'll use this cat, cat kit, which contains your feline weapon, including the catarang, catarang, which is even more dangerous than Batman's batarang. Thanks, Lois says. Remember, you're the world's greatest fem uh, female feline. You use all the predatory skills of a cat, 
Understand? Perfectly, she says. But what's all these uh, those eyes uh, staring at me? You, you really want to know? Then meet some feline friends I invited to your opening performance as Catwoman. Snarl, I'm not afraid of them. Yarrr. Brainwash, Lois faces, Lois faces the most ferocious beasts of the jungle. Will the false Catwoman be catnipped? Turn to part two and find out. So let's go to part two. Here's a one page ad. Right. Advertisement for uh, Plastic Man. Ad for Plastic Man uh, number one, it should be. Yeah, ad for Plastic Man number one. Right? From 1966. The triumphant return of the one and only original the plastic man brand new exploits of the famous human rubber band the slyliest slipperiest slinkiest superhero of them all you'll never know commissioner whom i ran into who do you run into who are those people Let's continue with our story. This is a car advertisement, AMT. More models, take a look. More models, car models. Give them and get them as gifts, buys. AMT tool, authentic trophy series, 124. 125th scale models let's take a look at this let's continue with part two the cat woman gets the bird part two there's a penguin and there is cat woman now this is Lois Lane must be don't be afraid of them cat woman those beasts are your subjects the catnip Perf perf perfume from your kit will make them obey your every command I'll test my control over them she says in her cat moment identity Lois gives orders to the king of beasts wow look at that that's it keep your jaw wide apart don't you dare let your fangs touch me catwoman says or lois lane dressed up as catwoman says hypnotize this catwoman Rawr. and soon haha <laughs> ah they're acting as gentle as kittens but you can turn them into savage beast whenever you need them in your cat crimes one warning before i go your rival in crime the penguin will probably be here soon use all your cat cunning to destroy him the penguin he's one cat who's going to catch a bird here's one cat that's going to catch a bird As the real cat woman hurries away with her gang but you did uh, but why did you brainwash her into trying to kill the penguin once she knocks off that bird we can raid his hideout the penguins roost and collect his loot cat woman says look at all the birds they've grabbed they're jacking all the birds then after selling these valuable birds we just stole i'll be able to retire and when they catch lois lane committing crimes as me no one will ever suspect the real 
crime queen has turned respectable. Catmon, you're a genius, he says. Indeed. Rain, rain again. Rain, rain again. Meanwhile, yet another evildoer is eluding the law. Superman, I've reached uh, everywhere for that escaped jailbird, the penguin, but there's no sign of him. Batman says. Even my telescopic vision hasn't been able to locate him anywhere in Metropolis or Gotham City, Superman says. On the street below, a crowd gathers for a spectacular event. Holy Hitchcock, look, the birds are coming. Stand back, let me see too. Is that like a bird parade? Let's check it out. Nice artwork. Mayor, mayor our city? Keep Metropolis clean. Make our city beautiful. Down the street comes a dazzling parade of feminine VIPs. It's a parade and there's a ladybird, Linda Bird and Lucy Baines. They're sponsoring the beautiful Metropolis campaign. Wow, the first lady and her chicks are guarded by that king size American Eagle, as well as the police and the secret service. Ah, oh, there's a king size American Eagle up top. So who are these people? The first lady, ah, the first lady. President's daughter, ah, uh, wife, right? Ah, oh, there's a penguin. But the Eagle's wings guards still another bird. Ah, oh, is he hiding in there? Let's see. Do we see him? No, no, you can't see him there. Let's check it out. Who'd ever think that I, the penguin, would ever have an escort of police and secret servicemen? Superman and Batman never dreamed, dreamt I'd be hiding under the feathers of this American Eagle coat. As the parade ends, the penguin slips away and hurries to Phoenix Castle. Ah, the castle that contains the world's most valuable collection of feathered feet creatures. How can I invade, invade this Fort Knox of birddom? Why, with this umbrella I picked up at my roost, he says. Ah, there's this flying umbrella thing whirl click the touch of a hidden button turns my umbrella into a helicopter penguin you genius you're a human whirly bird <laughs> and now to collect the rare fowls who will aid me in my future crimes Thanks. A brainwashed Lois Lane is waiting within. Ah, the penguin, my rival. He doesn't dream I'm about to pluck his pin feathers. Catwoman, you beat me to it and cleaned out those valuable birds. It's a disaster, but I plan my play my card right. Penguin thinks. Catwoman, I've always admired your sleek beauty and your cat cunning. We must end our rivalry. Rivalry, you little kitten. Haha. 
I didn't know you cared, Lois Lane says. Lois Lane dressed up as Catwoman. Let's get married. Let's get married. We'll combine our feline felonies and my bird bantry. We'll become the king and queen of queen of crime. It's a deal, love bird. And here's a little engagement present I have for you. <laughs> Oh, look at that. She throws her catarang. My catarang. That clawed gadget could make a penguin burger out of me. Yay, I'm falling. into the fountain but by a fluke of fate ah, it's raining hard now nice penguin old boy you have a charm life once again you your bird destiny saved you from death by means of bird bath <laughs> that moment oh oh superman and batman they must have figured figured i come here i'll hide behind the water in the fountain but superman's eagle eye spots the bird bandit there's the penguin now batman i figured he'd turn up at the rare bird exhibit grab him before he gets away superman there's Robin too in the background. The Batmobile. With a puff of super breath, the Man of Steel turns the cascading water to ice. <laughs> Look at Robin laugh. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> those frozen bars should make an easy, should make a, any penguin feel at home. Batman, have you ever seen Batman laughing so hard? Like a Robin. Grr. I'll get even with you for with you for the Superman. Penguin says. Soon. Batman, I still have something to do here. At the castle you take this foul tempered bird back to prison right superman they have this this cage ready for him look at that batmobile there's robin in the back waving by to superman i need to account uh, i'll need to account to Perry White for my time, so I'll switch to Clark Kent and take some notes. I'll say that Superman brought me here to witness the Penguin's capture. Ah, here's my catarang. The Penguin must be somewhere around here. Search for him, my feline friends. She looks like the Catwoman, but that voice, something doesn't add up. Clark, Superman's on the steps looking in. Look at the cats. A flash of X-ray vision reveals great galaxies. It's Lois Lane. Superman says why you're Clark Kent a friend of Superman hypnotized Lois says 
Lois, what are you doing in that Catwoman costume? Lois, my name is Selina Kyle. I'm the Catwoman, sworn foe of Batman and Superman too. I'll prove it. Any friend of Superman is an enemy of mine. Head for that c cistern. I have special plans for you. The real Catwoman must have hypnotized Lois. Well, I'll put on the the afraid cat. Afraidy cat Clark can't act. So you're too scared to put up a fight, you weakling. Climb down into the pits, she says. What are you going to do with me? He asks. From that evil glint in her eye, she might try anything Superman thinks. Grrr. You're just a timid mouse on my cat's love mice. Kill him, my pets. Then, in a savage attack of fangs and claws, rawr, growl, rip, slash. Oh man, that would have been nasty if it wasn't Superman. These pussycats are finding out an invulnerable mouse is too tough to chew. But they're rip, ripping my Clark Kent clothes to sh ribbons. Clark Kent, you're really Superman. Uh-oh, the fat's in the fire. She uncovered my secret identity. But since Lois, Lois is in a hypnotic state, she'll probably forget all this when she snaps out of it. I'll hide the remnants of my civvies in the pouch of my cape. You fiend, my cats are ruining their teeth on your invulnerable body. Oh, the poor kitties. At that moment, the real cat woman's kitty car comes Kitty car comes cat catapulting over the wall. Like all cats, I'm curious. I must see if Lois Lane is using my cat tricks properly. If she fails, it would be a cat catastrophe for my reputation. That's a beautiful cat woman car. Look at that. Holy Hecate, as a, as a Catwoman, Lois even beats me. I ask her to trap the penguin and she tops me by nabbing Superman. Wow. Oh, the poor cat, Superman's punching them hard. But at that moment, stop, Catwoman says, stop, or Lois Lane says, Stop punching my sweet little pussy cats. Bang, bang. Look at the stars on the panther's head. These are mere love taps, Lois. I just want to put your feud off felines to sleep temporarily. Oh, look at the poor lion's face. Oh, picks them up by their tail. Look at that. Poor kitty cats. They're all passed out. You demon, where are you taking my pets? 
to the Metropolis Zoo where they can't harm anyone. Wait here. I'll return, return, and try to bring you out of the cat almost hypnotic influence, Lois. But the man of but the man of might is not aware that the ge genuine Catwoman has been eavesdropping. So Superman knows that Lois Lane has been hypnotized into thinking she's me, huh? Hmm. This could fit in with my plans perfectly. Soon, as Lois prow prowls the premises in her Catwoman costume, Mow, meow, scratch. I thought Superman had captured all my cats, but it looks like I still have one left. I'll check. Ah, trip, sir. As Lois Lane steps through the door, I knew you couldn't resist my cat call. Take off the cat kit and won't you won't need it anymore rip oh she's ripping it off instance later catwoman how did i get back in this cage i can't remember i'll fill you in later meanwhile you'll stay in your um, unbreakable, unbreakable glass prison. Now that I broke the hypnotic spell, she can't. She doesn't remember impersonating me. Catwoman thinks. You can't get away with this. Superman will find me, and when he does. That's where you're wrong, my little kitten. He won't even bother looking for you, Catwoman says. Yes, here comes Superman to help poor deluded Lois. He'll never guess the girl who's waiting for him is the real Catwoman, impersonating his f friend. Ha 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 ha. What sinister scheme has the purring princess of plunder plucked from her catalog of tricks? The cataclysmic ending will be found in part three. That's fantastic writing. I like that. And here's part three. Continuation of the story. Oh, the rain is fantastic, gang really absolutely fantastic surrounded by windows pouring rain outside and reading a comic book very nice superman cat, cat, catastrophe catastrophe right? as superman returns to the castle i came back for you lois don't you recognize me I'm your friend, Superman. Catwoman must have hypnotized you into assuming her identity. Ha ha, Mr. Muscles doesn't dream he's talking to the Catwoman in person, Catwoman thinks. You could be right, Superman. Give me a super kiss. It might help restore my memory. Since he thinks I'm Lois, I may as well get a d dividend out of this situation. It's worth a try, Superman thinks. A super kiss might shock her back to normal. Ah, a boy, Superman. Take advantage of the situation. Look at this, look at this. Haha. <laughs> oh my, oh my. Hmm. Delish, Catwoman thinks. This is the cat's meow. But I must keep my head. I have other plans for Lois's 
favorite carrier pigeon. As the cunning cat woman continues her act, Lois didn't. Lois didn't that kiss ring a bell? Didn't it stir up old memories? Superman asked. Hmm, maybe I am Lois, after all. But I must be sure. Fly me to my secret lair, the catacombs. Cat woman asks. A good idea, if you can guide me there. I'll prove you're the real cat. You'll prove you're the real Catwoman. If not, you'll have to admit you're actually Lois suffering from a delusion. Superman, how clever of you! Haha, -ha, I'm playing him for a cat's paw. She thinks. Meanwhile. The real Lois Lane has escape ideas. This cage is made of unbreakable glass, but in my guess, if my guess is right, the screen overhead is some kind of thin plastic. Hmm. Think hard, Lois baby. That's a big glass cage. Catwoman's cunning must be catching. I've got an escape plan that's the cat's pajamas. First, I'll need some of these plume, plumes dropped by the birds. Birds who used to live in this cage. What are those? Plumes. Wrapping the plumes around her hand. Lois mounts a nearby bird swing and I hope I can swing this four three two one zero oh look at her go like a human missile Lois rockets upwards and crash breaks through the screen blast off all systems are go I'm right on target and these feather gloves protect my hands from wire cuts. It's like punching bags. Blast off. And by a lucky twist of fate, this balcony makes a perfect landing field wow would superman believe i did this with per with perry with jimmy she thinks then slipping out to the courtyard i thought i'd find cat woman prowling around but she's nowhere in sight wait there's her kitty car Just then, Cat Gang paging Catwoman on the Cat Call Network. Where are you? We're waiting for your orders in the catacombs. Oh ho, they can't seem to locate the real Catwoman. That gives me an idea. In this costume, I'm a dead ringer for that feline felon. If I could get to her hideout, I might be able to infiltrate the gang and capture them. But how do I find the secret hideout? Wait, there's the answer. Autopilots, catacombs, Lois. Oh, what? Lois, Chicago, Metropolis, Gotham City. I'm assuming Lois, uh, New York, and then Los Angeles. Autopilot. This autopilot may control the kitty car. I hope there's only one way to find out. I'll dial the destination I'm looking for. 
Oh, that's St. Louis, not Lois. St. Louis. So she's dialing catacombs. World. It's like a rotary phone. Seconds later, Lois's vehicle is uh, catapulted out of the castle. Wow, what a takeoff. If those automatic controls work, I'll be at the catacombs in seconds. Vroom. Meanwhile, the real cat moment approaches the same destination to keep this brain, brain and brawn boy believing that I'm Lois Lane. I'll continue to act confused. Superman, I, I think my lair is near that cliff below. If you were really the cat woman, you'd be sure, Lois. Superman says, but the next moment. great kryptonite that formation looks exactly like the fangs of a giant cat Urgh. this spot looks familiar head towards those needle shaped rocks catwoman says Catwoman's uh, lair. As the rocky, as the rocky fangs gasp, some automatic mechanism opened the cliff, like the mouth of a giant cat. It's the catacombs, the Catwoman's lair. Lewis, how did you know about this place? I must have been here before. I'm not sure. I'll lull his suspicions by acting confused catwoman thinks what do those things say let's see catarang catarangs cat catastrophical bombs catas catas catalysm rockets cata catalog of catalog of crying hilarious <laughs> too funny too funny right. let's see what else is going on here meanwhile the princess of plunders gang watches from a nearby tunnel has catwoman gone nuts why do you bring superman here relax she must have some scheme of her sleeve we'll lie low and see what happens out in the main cavern all these wonderful cat weapons but i don't know how to use them why superman cat whisker gun because you're really lois lane not the cat woman you're not Villainous at all, Superman says. I wonder what this stick is for. She says, Superman doesn't dream that this is the wand the sorceress Cer Circes once used to turn Ulysses, U Ulysses men into swine. I found it recently in Italy. There should, uh, there should be enough magic left in it for one more transformation. And just a side note, gang, Superman is invulnerable to everything except magic. So magic is the only thing that can affect Superman. Okay, takes away his vulnerability. Super Superman is vulnerable to magic so this should work wand of circes change this dunce into a super cat at once <laughs> lois what are you doing superman says my body feels so strange oh no 
continue on fifth page following. Let's follow this. Let's check this out. Okay, this is another ad, but we're going to continue with the story. This is super fun. On the go with Motorific. With Motorific. Little cars you can collect, right? But let's go on with the story. Oh, here's another one. Oh, wow. There's a couple of stuff here. Caps Hobby. One of these pages is uh, Carmen Infan Infantino did the artwork for. I don't know which one. Okay, and Irv Novak and Bob Ox Ox Oxner. Well, we're going to continue with the story. This is super fun. Here's another one as well. Let's check this out. Let's see Superman's transformation into a little kitty cat. What a great story. What a great story. Then... A grotesque metamorphosis. Oh no, look at this. Beautiful. What's happening? Some uncanny powers forcing me to drop to all fours. I'm being turned into a meow. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Fantastic. Catwoman. Yes, I really am the Catwoman. This magic wand changed you into a super cat, which must obey my every command. She's got a super cat at her disposal. Nice. Look at that, look at that. According to Cersei's spell, you must follow all orders I give you in, in, in rhyme. Forget your anger, do no harm. Rest there gently on my arm. Look at that, look at that. Little kitty cat Superman. Wow, we saw that stunt on the monitor. We're proud of you, Catwoman. <laughs> I always dreamt of owning a super cat. Now, with this powerful feline at my back, at my beck and call, I'll once again be the queen of crime. Come, my cat cronies. We have plans to make. Here comes the real Lois Lane. But soon afterwards, Lois Lane arrives at the cave in her Catwoman disguise. Good heavens, the kitty car must have triggered some electronic mechanism that opened the door to the cave. Brr! It's like being swallowed alive. The catacombs. This is the Catwoman's feline fortress. So this is Lois Lane. That she devil could have a cat fit if she knew I was here. She knows Lois. She knows Lois. The feline fury is already preparing a reception for you. It's Lois Lane. I don't know how she got in here, but I'll show what curiosity can do to the cat. Ha <laughs> ha. I'll release the cage full of weird giant cats which I bred experimentally. Each one is as savage as a dozen tigers. Let's see your girlfriend get out of this one, Superman. I mean, super cats. Oh, look at all these different cats. So, oh my God, look at that. Yar. 
Catwoman is crazy. Look at what she bred. Look at this. What a psycho. An instant later, Lois becomes the star of a frightful drama with widescreen effects. Those horrible beasts, where'd they come from? They're devouring me alive. I. But in the next hair racing second, and Supercat is after me too. It's feeding, feeding time in this nightmare meringue, and I'm the main course. Wow, look at that. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Super Cat is defending Lois Lane. What a switch. He's charging those fiendish felines. But does he have a chance against their giant fangs and claws? I don't think she knows a Superman. She doesn't. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Pow! Bam! What a comic! Superman transformed into a super cat takes on mutated cats that are bred genetically engineered by Catwoman. What a trip! Does he? The super cat strikes with furry fury. What unbelievable strength! A mere tap of his paw is enough to knock out one of those weird old beasts where did that super cat come from look at this one just doing a flippity flop super cool nice as the battle ends thanks pal for an for a minute i thought you might you might be super super girl super pet uh, streaky but he has golden fur and lightning light lighting streak marks on his side purr look at that superman even in cat form he's getting little kisses <laughs> little prude <laughs> getting kisses from all of them suddenly wait i get it by licking the s symbol you're trying to tell me that you're superman and that somehow you've been turned into a cat meow twice if i'm right clever my cat cunning must have ru rubbed off on you lois meow meow superman in cat form says oh look at that the cat woman only she could have cast a spell on you nab her superman i mean super cat Yar, haha! Ha. You must obey me. It is written, "Be mild and gentle as a kitten." Ah, that's another rhyme, right? Good grief! That simple rhyme brainwashed Supercat into a cuddly house pet. All right, boys, I've got him under control again. Bring out the cage. Look at that. Ah, oh, this is the front panel at uh, the cover, right? But let's continue reading. Oh, look at that. I think it's kryptonite cage. How does Batwoman have a kryptonite cage? Yar! I originally meant this cage for Supergirl's cat, Streaky. Then I learned he's not from Kryp uh, Krypton, so the green K can't affect him. But it's a different story with my new pet he'll be helpless here until i need him that deadly stuff is killing the poor creature stop torturing him catwoman or i'll meow rawr. fight me come on my claws can use a workout on that pretty face of yours catwoman says 
cat one was nasty. You'll need a cat's nine. You'll need cat's nine lives before I'm through with you. Turning Superman into a cat was my most perfect crime, Lois. And now I'll change you into a mouse. Ha <laughs> And that is exactly the cover. Wow, the cover is a little bit more intricate, I guess. We'll take a look after. Oh, what's this coming up? The cat fight of the century. Will the dynamic crime fighter perish in the deadly cage? Can our dar daring chick daring chick win out over the devious cunning of the dia diabolic diabolic catwoman and her despicable cronies will we will we ever turn out of dc will we ever run out of dc gags see the next issue of lois lane oh no we don't get to see the ending what no this is not fair where is the ending i have the second issue of this but it's buried somewhere in my books i have lois lane superman's uh, girlfriend lois lane number 71 but i don't know where it is <laughs> oh no we don't get to see the ending what wait no finishing most of these books from the 60s finished story right oh no what does this say second super smash issue in the ultimate utmost in comic magazines oh this is 80 page giant uh justice league of america ad another hall of fame section of super that it's super spectacular classic now on sale everywhere oh man what we don't get to finish the story see here's the cover right this is the panel right and here's the cover and they did it a little bit more intricate maybe it could be almost the same oh no it's not because lois lane is dressed up but take a look at this this is lois lane on the right side and that's catwoman on the left side right in the panel this is lois lane here and this is catwoman here so it's a little different oh we need to find out okay gang if i do i'll keep my eyes out and these are more advertisements and stuff i'll keep my eyes out for uh superman's uh, girlfriend lois lane number 71 <laughs> when i go through my boxes and if i find it um we'll bring it out and read it for sure we need to we need to see the ending of the story what a cliffhanger that's one of the best cliffhangers ever that's one of the greatest comic book cliffhangers ever seriously this book surprised me it was a fantastic read what a fantastic read superman's girlfriend lois lane number 70 from november great book and as far as grade goes i would say this is you know five five point five maybe six maybe at best but a great comic book great comic book i hope you guys enjoyed gang i hope you guys enjoyed what i'm going to do because we are live streaming this is get back to the live stream and uh see what the take was i was keeping an eye on the chat uh, and uh, i think people loved it i think people loved it uh, so I'm just going to turn on uh, the chat and the notifications and my camera. I'll see you guys in the next reading if uh, you're going to be following us.